All right, let's talk weather once again with meteorologist Thomas Patrick. Thomas, as we know, our local ski resorts could certainly use some new fresh snow, and you said that snow is on the way, right? Yeah, looking at a weather system this weekend, and we were kind of talking that like, oh, here in Spokane might be rain, a little snow, a little rain. What about the mountains? Snow for sure. It could be a lot of it, maybe up to a foot of snow this weekend for the mountains, but a rain snow split for some of us this weekend. That'll be our next weather system, but let's finish out this week with just more nice weather. Clear skies tonight will be sunny right around sunrise and then temperatures back in the mid 40s yet again. In fact, should be about the if, if I remember correctly, the 12th day in a row of 40 degree temperatures after January only had three days in the 40s at all. Mountain passes, however, for the Cascades looking at a pretty windy day for tomorrow as kind of the only thing of significance across the state for tomorrow. So a little bit of a some cascade wind, maybe mixing into some flurries. But let's look at the unsettled weekend because we have the ridge in the jet stream that's kept us pretty mild for the most part. A little bit of a northerly breeze kind of keeping us in check in the 40s. But when that flips over into a trough pattern, a weather system will ride along that and give us well that precipitation likely going to be rain during the daytime hours with high still in the 40s, but would be snow at night. So it just kind of depends on when it's going to fall. Since this is going to be mostly a Saturday evening into Sunday morning event, it actually leans a bit more towards the snow side of things, especially for our northern areas in the inland northwest and definitely for most of northern Idaho. For Spokane, I think it actually ends up a little bit more rain, but a brief period of snowfall, especially for Sunday morning. We'll watch how that weather system system times out for us most importantly because the temperatures will make a big difference for our lowlands valleys and foothills by next week. Now we're on the wrong side of the uh, jet stream. That is where the cold weather is going to come from. Most of the nation going to be experiencing below average temperatures, but it's really going to be centered over the interior northwest and certainly getting colder than average conditions early next week. Look at how our temperatures kind of make a little bit of a uh, jet stream pattern even on the seven days. It rises to the upper 40s for this Friday. Nice to finish out this week, but then we get those transition days for the weekend. Much colder next week. Highs only in the 20s. Lows down to about 13 degrees, so that'll be one of our colder days that we've experienced this winter. So again, we are far from done with the winter season and this weekend will be a, a bit unsettled, but definitely some good mountain snow for our area ski resorts. Yeah, what do they call it? A false spring, Thomas? Yeah, or like a second winter. Uh, yeah, if you, if you go by the Lord of the Rings <laughs> reference. There we go. Well, we could certainly use the moisture, so looking forward to that.